In this lesson, we'll discuss what we know about sequences and series to solve an application problem. The question reads, a local newspaper has hired teenagers to go door to door to try to solicit new subscribers. The teenager receives $2 for selling the first subscription. For each additional subscription sold, the newspaper will pay the teenager 10 cents more than what was paid for the previous subscription. How much will the teenagers get paid for selling the 100th subscription? How much money will the teenagers earn by selling 100 subscriptions? Let's begin by writing out what we know. We know that in the very first subscription sold, which I'll call A sub 1, the teenagers will receive $2. In the next subscription, let's say A sub 2, they will have earned $2 plus 10 cents given that they had one sold previously. So they will earn $2.10 if they sell a second subscription and in total it would be $4.10. In case you're still confused, let's do one more for good measure. If they sell a third subscription, they will get $2.10 plus 10 cents more than that. Because it says right here, for each additional subscription sold, the newspaper will pay the teenagers 10 cents more than what was paid for the previous subscription, being this one. So they end up earning for the third subscription $2.20. As you can see, from one to the other, there is a common difference of 10 cents. And in this case, a 10 cent increase. What I can do is describe that as being my difference is equal to 0 0.10. And if there's a common difference, we call this type of sequence or series an arithmetic progression. Arithmetic sequences can be modeled using this template, this formula. We write down A sub N is equal to the initial amount, which I'll call A sub 1, plus bracket N minus 1 times the difference D where in this case n represents the number of subscriptions. Filling this out with what we know, a sub n is equal to 2 plus n minus 1 times the common difference of 0 0.10. We can simplify this, and if you do simplify it correctly, 2 plus 0 0.10 n, you should end up with a linear equation, minus 0 0.10. Notice that I multiplied this number into the parentheses, 2 minus 0 0.1 is 1.9 plus 0 0.10 n. This formula will tell us how much will be made at 100 subscriptions sold. If I substitute n is equal to 100 into here, I end up with 1.9 plus 0 0.10 times 100 Let's use our calculator, 1.9 plus 0 0.10 times 100 gives us $11.90. So if he were to sell 100 subscriptions, on that 100th subscription, he would have made $11.90 just for that 100th that he sold. Now this is not the sum of all he made. For that, you have to add up everything from what happened at the very beginning, which was $2 plus 2.10 plus 2.20 and so on, all the way to this number. To find that out, rather than having to create a table of all the amounts that he made from 0 to 100, we can use another formula. This formula models a series, and it looks like this, where the sum at 100 is equal to n bracket a1 plus a100 over 2. So I have a number n of 100 bracket what we started with which was two dollars plus what we ended with which was 11.90 over Two. That cancels out, we get 50 times 2 plus 
adding these two up, that's 13.90 times 50. And this is how much will be made in total having sold 100 subscriptions. 695. $695 for getting 100 customers to subscribe. And there you have it. That is how to apply sequences and series to a real life application.